Give it up for Anthony Ladon, everybody. Let him hear it. Thanks, guys. Keep it going for your host, Charles with me. Doing an awesome job up here. Tough job, and somebody's got to do it. I realize I look a little confused, like no one told me Easter was over. I get that. It's fine. Why not just keep the party going? I'm still looking for eggs out there somewhere. Uh, I did get good news. Uh, my brother called me up, and uh, he's back from his first deployment, which is exciting. He's in the Navy. Yeah. Who's doing you proud now, Dad? Look, anybody can carry a gun and fight terrorists, but it takes a true word to make a joke. <laughs> Not really. Uh, you know, terrorists are kind of, like every time they put terrorists on TV, uh, don't worry, I won't bring the whole show down, by the way. <laughs> you know, he's, he's fine, they're not. Um, but every time they show pictures of terrorists on TV, they're either like grossly overweight or really gaunt and kind of emaciated, and I don't get that. Like if I were, look, okay. I get that the life of a terrorist by design is self-destructive. <laughs> But if I were going to meet 72 virgins at the end of that whole thing, I'd hit the gym. <laughs> Just common sense. <sighs> I'm Italian, in case you were curious. I'm only half. I speak with like one hand. <laughs> Every time I'm with full Italians, I get intimidated. Like I'm out ethnic. Does this ever happen to you guys where you hang out? with somebody who like shares your cultural heritage or your ethnicity or your, like your religion, and they try to outdo you. It's weird. Like I'll be hanging out with my family and I'll be like, hey Vinny, can you pass me the prosciutto? And he's like, it's prosciutto. I'm like, oh, you're adopted. Just pass the prosciutto and tuck the gold chain back in the white t-shirt. Hard out there. It's happened to me in an Italian restaurant too, which I kind of thought was like a safe space for me. <laughs> like I go to pay the bill and the, the waiter picks it up and he looks at me and he's like, you know what your last name means, huh? Okay. And then he looks straight at my date and he's like, it means the whim and more than one. <laughs> really? We're, we're doing this before the tip? <laughs> It's hard enough out there when I look like an underinflated Ryan Reynolds doll. <laughs> Just bring me the check, Dad. <laughs> uh, but dating is hard. I mean, especially when you're married. <laughs> I've been with my wife for 10 years. We just passed the 10-year mark. And, uh, yeah. It's a big deal. I'm pretty sure she's the one. <laughs> But no matter how long you've been with somebody, you, there's those mornings where you wake up and you're like, oh God, she's still here? Okay. Nah, we're happily married. If anything, she's the one saying that about me. I'm actually surprised we got together in the first place, to be honest with you. Like when I first met her, she was way underage. <laughs> but when I saw her in the back of the classroom, I was like, we're gonna be together. So, we're both in high school at the time. She was a year ahead of me, just in case anybody's really concerned. We go on date nights pretty frequently because we're happily married, a couple. Uh, but every time I'm out on a date night, I get this like weird sense of deja vu. And after 10 years of marriage, this gets to you and you're like, hey, we already did this. Like to me, marriage is kind of, or date night for married people, it, it feels like a victory lap. You know? It's like, what are we doing out here? We, we already won. Like, let's pack it up and go home. Like, you're wearing the trophy on your finger. But we still go. Dates are fun, though. Like, the hardest part, in my opinion, I don't know what you guys think, is choosing what to eat. Because what I want to eat and what's gonna allow me to perform sexually at the end of this evening <laughs> without getting the meat sweats? <laughs> Two totally different things. 
So every time the menus are up, I'm always thinking like, oh, are we gonna have sex tonight or can I get the steak? <laughs> and I have a feeling it's the same for women too. I, yeah, I heard a big resounding yes. She's having a salad. But that's what I'm always paying attention for. I'm always looking at the menu, like behind her, like, oh, was she thinking green goddess? Oh good, I'll have one of those two in a five hour energy. <laughs> Dude, he's hard, man. It's crazy. And the food, it's tough because everything is either super food or it's gonna kill you. <laughs> like coffee and wine, my two favorite things. California's like, hey, they're both gonna kill you, by the way. Kind of cause cancer. I brought it back down right at the end, didn't I? I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm, real, I'm gonna have to end on that too. <laughs> anyway, you guys have been great. Have a good night. My name's Dan Pagano. Anthony Ladon, everybody.